Hi folks, how you doing? It's James JT at the movies and I'm back as promised for the video where I go through my top 20 actresses of all time. So really the criteria, much as last time for making this list, is if I see this person's name on the cast list, on a poster, on the back of a DVD, Blu-ray, whatever, it's more than likely going to make me want to watch it. And that was really the criteria for me picking this list. Of course, again, it's just my list, my sort of subjective pickings, and everybody's going to have different opinions on this, so um, I'm not claiming this to be any sort of a definitive list at all. And again, as I mentioned last time, let me know down in the comments below what are your favourite actresses. Let me know. Let's have a chat about them. We might have some that are the same. You might have some different ones. I love to get involved in those comments. So please do leave me a little, uh, little note down below with some of your favourite actresses and we can have a have a natter about it let's jump into the list in at number 20 we have Lupita Nyong'o she's an absolutely fantastic actress and I really enjoy her in pretty much everything that I've seen her in obviously she's been in uh, the, the recent Disney Star Wars trilogy uh, being the voice of Maz Kanata uh, she was in the fantastic 12 Years a Slave a uh, really really emotional moving film and she was in obviously Jordan Peele's Us as well as things like uh, the sort of straight to DVD action thriller with Liam Neeson non-stop she's just a great actress and a really great presence wherever you see her on screen at number 19 we have the absolutely fantastic Emma Stone she sort of started really doing the coming of age comedies with things like Superbad and the, the homage to 80s movies uh, Easy A which was absolutely fantastic she's going to be in the upcoming Cruella de Vil movie as well which I really can't wait to see but she's done some absolutely fantastic stuff and again whenever I see her name on a cast list I'm like well I'm going to watch that movie Number 18. So this is an actress who sort of probably mostly does sort of like comedies and maybe sort of like rom-coms. But I really enjoy her presence in, in, in anything I've seen her in. Um, and it's Anna Kendrick. I really love her in the Pitch Perfect movies. Again, obviously being a musician, I'm a huge fan of those movies. Um, and if you know me, folks, you'll know how much I love to sing in vocal harmony. So those movies are just right up my street. And she's a really compelling lead. I really like her in A Simple Favour as well. Um, and I also really liked the rom com what to expect when you're expecting she's just one of those people that whenever she turns up she's really great she was with Ben Affleck in The Accountant as well and that was a really great action film really really enjoy her whenever she turns up in films in at number 17 we have a bit of a bit of an action heavyweight now a real real Hollywood badass and it's Linda Hamilton of course the Terminator films are what originally introduced me to her but seeing her in things like Dante's Peak alongside Pierce Brosnan as well only cemented my love for her and again whenever she turns up in anything I'll gladly watch it and have a great time I think she's absolutely brilliant I mentioned it in my last episode but I really really enjoyed the return with Terminator Dark Fate I really thought that her and Arnie played off each other absolutely fantastically slipping back into those roles in at number 16 we have the absolutely fantastic Sharon Stone um, she was absolutely fantastic I think in her heyday for me was sort of the late 80s to sort of mid 90s with films like uh, Total Recall and uh, Casino coming to mind uh, as, a, as the, the sort of the big hitters but she's been in some really really great stuff Basic Instinct as well what an absolute film it is and she is just a really really great actress whenever she turns up in anything um, she always steals the scenes that she's in in at number 15 we have Susan Sarandon. She's an absolutely iconic actress with things like the Rocky Horror Picture Show uh, under her belt and then she's even done silly comedies with Adam Sandler like That's My Boy. My favourite Susan Sarandon role will always be where she plays the attorney Reggie Love in The Client opposite Tommy Lee Jones. That is one of my favourite films of all time and I think her performance is absolutely top notch in it. Again, if I know that she's going to be in the film uh, I'll gladly give it a watch. In at number 14, well the truth is out there Scully, it's Gillian Anderson. Gillian Anderson is an absolute force to be reckoned with. Now I know she's probably more known for appearing in TV shows than she is movies, although she has done some movies. And of course her most sort of iconic character is that of uh, FBI Special Agent Dana Scully and the X-Files. She's absolutely a superb actress. She's fantastic in, you know, like the crown for argument's sake that she was just in the Netflix series where she played British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. And it was uncanny. I've also had the pleasure of seeing Gillian Anderson play Stella in A Streetcar Named Desire at the uh, at the Young Vic a few years ago uh, and had the opportunity to meet her after the show. She was absolutely lovely and it was really great to meet her and chat to her about the show and the X-Files. 
uh, and a few other bits and bobs that she'd done. But she was absolutely superb in that, and she is just a phenomenal actress. In at number 13, well, this one really doesn't need any explanation whatsoever. She is an absolute heavyweight. It's Dame Maggie Smith. Professor McGonagall, she's in The Quartet, A Room with a View, so many, so many great films, a fantastic career, um, and you know anything that she shows up in again, I'm just like, yeah, I'll give that a watch, it's got Dame Maggie in it, absolutely fantastic. In at number 12, we have the brilliant American actress Halle Berry. I was first introduced to Halle Berry in Die Another Day, where she played the leading Bond girl, Jinx. Uh, but of course, she's gone on to do some absolutely other fantastic films, uh, you know, Swordfish being one of them. Recently, she made a film called The Call, where she's a 911 dispatch operator. She's done some absolutely great films along the way, and I always enjoy the performances she gives whenever I watch her in anything. In at number 11, we have a absolutely fantastic Whoopi Goldberg. I was introduced to Whoopi Goldberg with Sister Act and its sequel. I love those films, and I, I come back to them fairly regularly. Probably, I don't know, once every couple of years or so, which is which is regularly for me when you consider a collection this size. Um, but I absolutely love pretty much anything I ever see her in. She's a really, really versatile actress, uh, and is really talented. You know, she can do the action stuff, she can do the drama. I know she's probably most well-known for her comedy but she has got the ability to do it all and I think she's great some of the things that I, I remember really enjoying her in were of course Ghost where uh, you know she gets the famous line four million dollars and it's absolutely you know she, she's great in that film obviously playing Dolores in Sister Act um, as well and I even enjoyed her playing the the, the mum character in Rat Race as well um, you know I've, I've seen loads of her films over the years but those are the ones that sort of came to mind when I was making this list We've made it to the top 10, folks, and in at number 10 is Amy Adams. She's absolutely brilliant. Again, a well-rounded actress that can lend herself to anything, you know, with things like Enchanted, the Disney movie where she's playing a, a cartoonish Disney princess, literally plucked straight out of a Disney cartoon and put into, you know, modern-day New York. She's fantastic in that. She's brilliant as, as Lois Lane and in things like uh, American Hustle as well. She's absolutely fantastic. Uh, just an absolute great actress and again look forward to seeing her in anything that she she puts herself in in at number nine we have Vera Farmiga I really really think this lady is an absolutely fantastic actress she steals every scene that she's in I was introduced to her with the conjuring films where she plays Lorraine Warren and she's brilliant in those as well but I think my absolute favorite performance from her is where she's the psychiatrist in Martin Scorsese's The Departed I've always really enjoyed that performance and again it's sort of one of the ones that sort of stood out to me when I was making this list of who do I want to include and that was one of the performances that came straight to mind in at number eight, we have another absolute heavyweight, and it's Glenn Close. She's absolutely fantastic, isn't there? What what more can I say, really? She's Cruella de Vil. Um, she's the vice president in Air Force One. Uh, she, she's, she's in uh, Fatal Attraction, isn't she? Opposite Michael Douglas. Uh, goodness me, she's scary in that film. She's absolutely brilliant wherever she shows up. She's still making great films to this day. Uh, she's even popped up in the MCU of all places. But yeah, Glenn Close, absolutely fantastic. In at number seven, we have Anne Hathaway. She's absolutely brilliant. Again, she's done the Disney stuff, you know, with like the Princess Diaries. Uh, she's done the superhero stuff with The Dark Knight Rises, the musical drama with Les Mis. She's done the rom-coms. She's done the slightly more serious stuff as well. And she is just a really, really well-rounded actress. Uh, I really, really enjoy her. Um, I mean, in particular, The Dark Knight Rises is always one that stood out for me because I wasn't too sure she was right to play Catwoman when it was announced and don't get me wrong you know not, not ever one of these people that sort of you know sort of starts carrying on that I'll boycott a film because I'm not sure about a casting decision I'll always give people their due but when that was announced I sort of thought I'm not sure you know and then in that opening scene where she's with Bruce Wayne and she's sort of you know pretending to be all timid and shy and then she gets the better you know she gets the better of him sort of thing and it's the oops and it's instantly sold um, and instantly became one of my favourite performances that she's done. Um, and like I say, I've seen her in, in many things, comedies, dramas, romances, you know, musicals over the years, and she, she's great, absolutely fantastic. 
In at number six, we have the legend that is Jodie Foster. Now, believe it or not, I was first introduced to Jodie Foster when I was in school, and we did a school play of Bugsy Malone. I was Bugsy, actually, uh, and I'm not lying. I can prove it, um, but I'll have to wait for another day because I have to go digging around in the loft, but I've got the videotape, um, and I've also got the like the program that the school did, um, but, um, but there you go. Um, and obviously, to sort of get ready for it and to help us sort of become familiar with the story, we were all primary school school kids they put the film on Bugsy Malone and she she plays Tallulah doesn't she but of course things like the absolutely quintessential performance of Clarice Starling in Silence of the Lambs uh, she's in Davy Finch's Panic Room which is another one of my favourites as well she's in Flight Plan she's also a, a, a fantastic filmmaker in her own right uh, a really talented director she's just a, a force to be reckoned with so in at number five we have one of my favourite actresses of all time as they all are on this list, uh, but but this lady really is one of my one of my favourite actresses ever, and it's Sandra Bullock. I absolutely adore Sandra Bullock, and again, we'll watch her in anything that she's in. Uh, you know, the, the Blind Side, um, Speed was the film that I was introduced to her with. Um, she's done the recent Ocean's Eight, which I thought was fantastic, um, and then the sort of the the nineties action thriller, The Net, as well. I always really liked that one, um, and again, she she's just great in anything that she turns up in and even in uh you know sort of some uh sort of less than uh, great films she's you know she, she's one of the saving graces in them i can't quite remember what it's called but there's one where she's a detective um and i think it's ryan gosling and elijah wood or two two young young you know young fellas are the, are the sort of the murderers and it's a bit of a game of cat and mouse sort of thing um uh, and she's the copper and she's the saving grace in that film uh but yeah absolutely sandra bullock is a well-deserved number five on this list for me number four this one might feel like it's come out of left field a bit for some folk uh because we really don't see too much of her anymore which is a real shame because in the late 90s and the early 2000s she was everywhere but my number four pick for my favorite actress is ashley judd um, and I first came to, to know of Ashley Judd's work with Kiss the Girls, the uh, the Alex Cross story starring Morgan Freeman, and she plays the leading leading lady in that, and she's absolutely fantastic in it. Um, and my favourite film with her in um, is one of my favourite films of all time. It was actually one of the first films I ever talked about on this channel as JT at the movies, uh, and it's Double Jeopardy, which is essentially um, another version of The Fugitive, although it's not... Not, not like a remake or anything, but it's more or less the, the same story. Heck, they even have Tommy Lee Jones in it as the copper chasing her. Uh, but she's brilliant in that as a mum who's wrongfully convicted of her husband's murder. And then it's the, the sort of the revenge story and the trying to clear her name uh, and do all that bit. And she's great in that. Um, and then she was in a film called High Crimes as well, which was absolutely fantastic. Now, I know she's been in, in more films uh, recently, but the last thing I remember seeing her in was Olympus Has Fallen, where she played in the, the opening sequence only the, the president's wife. And I do think it's an absolute shame that we don't see her regularly in more mainstream movies, because I always love the, the energy and the performances that she brings. I always thought she's a really compelling actress. In at number three is a lady that just seems to go from strength to strength. Um, it's Margot Robbie. She initially started out, didn't she, as a, as a soap star, I believe, on Neighbours over in Australia. Um, and then she's come over to America and she's worked with Martin Scorsese on The Wolf of Wall Street. And she's absolutely fantastic uh, in, that, in that film. It, it really is just a, a superb performance from her. She is fantastic as Harley Quinn in the DC Extended Union universe the films that she's in might be absolutely dire but she is fantastic as harley quinn and i remember long before those films were even announced seeing her in wolf of wall street saying to my mates at the time if ever they make a harley quinn film or a batman film where harley quinn's one of the villains this is the lady to do it um and you know and she's gone on to do things like i tonya and bombshell as well where she's sort of really showing that she's, she's got some serious talent um and and i think that she's definitely going to be a real heavyweight uh, that's around for, for years to come in at number two we have the late great carrie fisher now 
you might be thinking, why is she so high up on on your list? But she she's just one of my favourite actresses. She's obviously Princess Leia, and and she steals every scene that she's in as Princess Leia. Um, but she's fantastic in the Blues Brothers uh, as Jake Blues, his ex girlfriend, that's on a mission to absolutely just obliterate him for you know ditching on their wedding. And she has some fantastic appearances in other films and TV shows as well. And I just think she's just absolutely brilliant. She might not be uh, or might not have been God rest her maybe technically as, as sort of gifted or talented if you want to, to call it that as some of the other actresses maybe I've mentioned on this list um, or maybe some of the ones that I've even not mentioned at all but whenever she's there on screen I just think that she's absolutely fantastic um, and yeah you just can't help but gravitate towards a performance even like one of the standout moments in Scream 3 is the little cameo that she has as like the you know the the desk clerk at the movie studios and she sort of uh, gives a bit of a nod and a wink that she used to be Princess Leia but now she's working a day job and she's always really witty with things and I, absolutely just 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 love Carrie Fisher to bits it, it broke my heart when she passed um, but yeah she's absolutely one of my favourite actresses ever and then in at number one, I'm not going to do a silly one this time. Um, my favourite actress uh, of all time is Sigourney Weaver. Who else could it have been? She is an action star. She can do comedy. She can do, you know, the, the more serious drama stuff. She can do the romance. She's absolutely fantastic. She lends herself to all genres. Um, and she is the badass Ellen Ripley. For, from Alien, which is you know one of the first things I was introduced to her um, as, and she's just just phenomenal in that film, isn't she? Uh, she's great as Dana Barrett in Ghostbusters as well, and she's had some really great roles in recent years as well, and sort of lent her her sort of like star power and celebrity to a lot of films that that perhaps maybe. Um, other other people of, of her sort of stature wouldn't have wouldn't have got involved with like Cabin in the Woods for for argument's sake and, and maybe even things like Paul as well. Uh, but she just seems like a really really great lady whenever you see her interviewed. Um, and again, whatever she's in, you know, if it's oh that's Sigourney Weaver, I, I'll keep her on the TV um, and I'll I'll gladly watch the film whatever it is. And I've I've loads of films with her in in and amongst all this lot. So there you go folks, that has been my top 20 favourite actresses of all time list. I hope you've enjoyed this video and like I mentioned earlier, please let me know down below in the comments who your favourite actresses are and some of your favourite performances from them. If you want to leave me a whole list of 20, that's great. I'll gladly read through them and have a natter with you and if you just want to mention a few, that's great. I'll comment on some of the ones that I've put in here, that would be absolutely brilliant as well. If you are new around here and you're not already subscribed, please think about subscribing to the video uh, as it really does help the channel to and I'd love to have you around a little bit longer. If you do subscribe, ring that notification bell, and then that way you're the first person to be notified whenever I do post a video. Don't forget to drop the video a thumbs up, folks, and above all else, continue to take care of yourselves, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Take care. Bye for now.